Welcome back to the Open World RPG in Dream series. In this devlog, I'm going to be making a puppet from scratch, creating the walk animation, and creating the attack animation. I'm gonna try to make it in a way where someone more talented than I can go in and make it look good. I don't know if I wanna make this a puppet or not. I don't think I do. I'm gonna to put together something that will function and then probably Ghost Fruit is gonna go in and make it look good. Let's just jump right into it. All right, we have the torso. And then we want, so like, I, I don't know how much effort I wanna put into this. Let's not put much effort into it. As long as it's like passable. This is probably gonna look kinda weird. <laughs> I think these legs are a little too big. Let's make one first, cause we can always do this and mirror it. I wanna see what this looks like walking. I guess I have to use my imagination, which is kind of scary. I want to animate it and I want to get everything working, but I don't want, like, I don't need to make this look good. All right, that's not my job. You've got to use your imagination. This is, this is obviously, this is obviously a, a stick monster. You need it done before you can animate. That's not true. That's not true. So wh what's going to happen is I'm going to take this, put it in my, I'm going to make it, I'm going to rig it and everything, put it in my game. And then someone else, probably Ghost Fruit, is gonna go into this element and sculpt directly on onto this base. Um, and do whatever you want. You just can't move the joint positions, which is fine. I'm making it way harder for him. How so? I, I'm genuinely curious because I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to make it harder for him. I'm limiting everything. What are you talking about? Ah, okay, he won't be able to mess with proportions. So that's not necessarily true. I mean, yeah, it would probably break the animations. But you're right, he, the, the proportions won't be able to change. That's, oh my God, Natalie, what? Bless you, Jesus. This can be the hand. We're, we're, just, we're just gray boxing it right now. And then maybe he has some sort of, some sort of stick some sort of stick weapon. I mean, he doesn't even have to have a weapon. I'm just, right now, I'm just completely going off my reference. I want this specific enemy to have no left arm, and then maybe the higher level ones do. This is supposed to be like the starter enemy. He needs to look, he needs to look lamer. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I, I think we go with this. Let's, let's add the joints now. I, I, the worst case scenario for me personally is you spend like an hour on something that just gets completely scrapped. So the, the more communication, the better. So we'll have the sculpt and then I'm gonna put it in another element, which will be the animations. Let's call this basic tree enemy and then the original one should be called basic tree enemy model that's that's what it should be so we have basic tree enemy this is basic tree enemy model so now i can animate this and then i can update whatever you do we're basically making our own puppet right um the difference is we're only putting what we need in this the puppet comes with a bunch of stuff that we would never use so i'm gonna just start with the literally just the default position of this Okay, I, I can I can dig this. I've done one keyframe. I wanna see if your update just completely destroys this. Cause if it does, well then, then we're wasting our time. So let's see. Hey, okay. All right, we're good. We're good to go. Okay, so this is the idol. Let's, let's make another keyframe.
Got to keep in mind, I, I'm I'm going for RuneScape style animations. And I mean, this is good. This is literally just two keyframes. This is the animation that's going to play if no other animation is playing. This, all right? So this is the walk. Notice how I'm not starting with a blank keyframe. I'm starting with this keyframe because this keyframe is the default. Let's see what I can do here. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't even start with this. Maybe I should start with a keyframe that is in the walking animation. You know what? That's probably what I want to do. All right, how is this guy gonna walk? I mean, we gotta start somewhere, right? I've actually never done a walking animation. <laughs> Wait, have I? I think I have. I think I have for my for my create a critter uh, uh, game. A lot of work goes into custom walk animation. This this is like piece of crafts thing. He he exclusively makes custom walk animations. <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna be so bad. Is this, this, this uh, keyframe should be when the leg first touches down. I, I need to look up a reference for this. Oh man, I'm so scared. I don't think this is gonna look good. Oh my God, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yes, yes, we're doing it. Okay, okay. We have this keyframe where the left leg is touching down first. Like that's the that's where you're stepping down. We have this keyframe where the left leg is halfway from pushing you forward and the right leg is halfway from stepping down. We have this keyframe which is a mirror image of the first keyframe, right? The the right leg is stepping down and the the left leg is all the way forward. It's a mirror image. I mean, it's not literally a mirror image, but you know. So now don't we just need one more keyframe? which is a mirror image of this one. So maybe we just start with this one and then just reverse it, kind of. Pac makes this seem so hard, but it's actually easy. No, I, I, I'm joking, I'm joking. It is not, it is not easy. Um, I'm just not doing a very high quality animation. Wait. Wait, oh, and now I need, I need this. And now it should loop around? Yo, if this actually works, that would be so hype. I mean, is that not a walking animation? Hell yeah. Okay, it doesn't perfectly. What about that? Oh my god, we did it! My, my first walking animation. Look at this. Look at me go. It only took like 15 minutes. Now I think we do something for the arms, right? How do you walk with arms? <laughs> what, what do you do? How, uh, if I remember, <laughs> if I remember correctly, <laughs> the right arm matches the left leg and vice versa. Do I, do I have to like get up and start walking? Hey Natalie. Can you help me? I forgot how to walk. When your right, when your left foot goes forward, your right arm goes forward. So, th so this is good. And then what we can do, I think, see, I think we can save keyframes here, right? So here we want it reversed. How freaking easy is it to animate this little stub? <laughs> it's really easy. <laughs> yes. Let's go, baby. All right. We're doing it. Can we make him hunch over a little bit? Oh, that's gonna, I'm gonna have to like change the entire thing. <laughs> I, I really like this. Now what? Uh, we've got the walking animation. That animation's all right. Thanks, Peace, I appreciate it. How, do you like the head? Uh, the head is actually procedurally animated, believe it or not. Um, so I, I use a pretty advanced technique called forgetting to animate it. What are we doing for the attack? Uh, I'm thinking just a basic swing. Will this enemy have multiple different attacks is the question. Probably not. I have an idea. What if I, what if I did this? Hmm. 
So now I, I, I basically always know where the legs were. So yes, I'm going to move the torso. But I know where the legs were, so I can easily just like put them back. It's a good first keyframe. I need another, I, I can't, I need, I need another keyframe. So I need one at the, at the apex of the swing. Okay. Yes. Yes, I am. I am happy with this. The the right leg's a little funky, but this is actually not bad. So now now we have to make it time or wow. Now we have to time it correctly. We got a baseball player over here. I love it. Um, I'm gonna save this and then call it because we gotta go to bed. I'm getting better at better animations. Keep it up. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Oh my god, ghost fruit. That's so good. Yes. Dude, this is so cool. You're too drunk to <laughs> Peace, what the hell, dude? Wait, this is really good. I love this. I just want to be you.